35 years' service in the company, Didier has seen lots of changes during his time at France Telecom. He now works in the 3G department, though not through choice. He's had to change jobs four times in one year, with the only alternative being to leave. I wouldn't let them push me out, so I found another job internally. Some of the managers are good, but others just do whatever they're told. And that can be difficult. Didier and some 300 of his fellow employees protested outside the company's headquarters, denouncing what they call sly and underhand methods of management. Christelle is also a France Telecom worker and acts as a union rep in Paris. They give us targets that are tighter and more strict. We know now that some people manage through intimidation. In other words, they put a little pressure on, not enough to call it harassment, but if they did, the unions would react. Also, the workforce has been broken up. There's no collective movement like there used to be. Development at work. That's the motto of the new social contract that Didier Lombard, the head of France Telecom, wants his employees to adopt. It's Marc Chenet that will be putting this new contract in place. His management consultancy firm worked with car manufacturer Renault last year on the issue of suicides. He's meeting with France Telecom employees at the end of the month. I think what's important now, given the current climate, is to give a voice to the employees. They need to be able to express themselves and to have a form of catharsis. It's a big step with this kind of problem. So far, employees' protests seem to be paying off. The France Telecom boss has said staff will no longer be rotated to new departments every few years. And people due to retire within three years will be able to refuse transfers to other positions. Unions say that between 2006 and 2008, 7,500 workers were transferred to different jobs.